Thank you for joining CCRNR this morning. Uh, we are having a week-long celebration caring for our essential providers, and we're glad you could join us. This session to this morning is sponsored by CCRNR of Northwest Iowa, Region 1, and I'd like to now introduce Rebecca Hungate to tell you more. Good morning, everybody. Hi, I'm Rebecca with Child Care Resource and Referral. We are your go-to stop for all things child care. And most everybody on here uh, already knows that, and we're so glad that you're here. But just a little bit of information if you guys are catching this in the replay about what child care resource and referral is. Um, so you uh, can expect child care resource and referral to help you with anything child care related. We have local child care consultants that help our homes, our centers, and our preschools. We help parents find quality child care, and we also support communities looking for child care solutions. So we're glad that you guys are here today. If you guys want more information on child care resource and referral, you guys can go to our website at www.iowa. And it looks like we're having a little technical difficulties with Rebecca's web uh, internet connection. <laughs> we're just going to give her one second to see if she comes back on. All right, so at this time, I do apologize. Uh, I think it's the cold weather. Mother Nature is not kind to us. <laughs> so um, looks like Danielle has joined us too. I will go ahead and uh, Danielle is also from Region 1 and we'll let her finish the introduction. You need oh, to unmute. Check, yep, there we go. Sorry about that, everyone. Of course, we run into technical difficulties at 6, 6 a.m. in the morning. So like Rebecca was saying, if you want more information about CCRNR, go to iowaccrr.org, um, and that will tell you all about our programs and our solutions throughout the state, as well as we have some great new topics on there, such as funding um, for COVID, if you guys haven't checked that out, if you are a provider. So we are super excited about that. So please check out our new updates on our website, um, because we are here to help you. Today is all about routines, and they are not to be confused with habits. So habits are considered something that is an impulse for you, such as washing your hands after using the restroom or putting on hand sanitizer throughout the day. I think we've all put that habit into our daily life. A routine, however, is something, oh, looks like Rebecca's joining us. Um, but a routine, however, is something that you do every morning or you do every night to kind of put you in the mood and shape your day or end your day with the most calming way. So Rebecca, I'll lead it over to you again so that you can finish your speech. Thank you. Like in true uh, fashion, um, my internet decides to go out on me this morning. So I'm sorry about that. Um, so yeah, like Danielle was talking about today, we're gonna be talking a little bit about routines. Um, we have um, lots of fun things planned for you this week. So I was just gonna kind of let you know about the things that are happening this week. Um, you guys have probably uh, seen our Facebook posts and all the things that are happening. Um, we have another event today at noon, um, talking a little bit more about um, other kinds of routines that some people do. We have Dwight who will be talking to us about writing and journaling and how he writes special um, poems that he calls nestings and he'll be sharing that with us. 
We also have Ashley who will be talking to us about nutrition um, and digging in a little bit deeper about how that helps um, you can start a room, new, new routine that way if that's something that you're looking forward to. So that will be at noon. Uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow on Wednesday, we have yoga with, um, and the kids are welcome to join. That's at 930 or at nine, excuse me. And uh, so if you have available, want to bring that into the classroom, that would be great. Um, and then at six o'clock, we have um, finding your um, ways to get your uh, groove back after this um, last year. Thursday, we have music and who doesn't love music? Um, we're gonna have some really awesome giveaways with that one too. Uh, and Friday is finding finding yourself through self-reflection. And then Saturday, we wrap it all up with Gary, who is going to be doing a little bit about finding our inspiration. So like I said, this week is all about you guys. We're just trying to think of some fun, different ways to give back to you. Um, we're glad that you guys are here. Um, this morning, we are going to be talking to a center director who uh, is talking about how she sets herself up and her staff and her families um, up for success by having, um, having a routine. Uh, that is um, actually a pre-recorded video that we, we did to make sure that we had for today. Um, but why we do that, we want you guys to be thinking about what you guys do. I wanna be think about how you guys set your program up. If you're a home, if you're a preschool, if you're a center, if you're a staff, if you're a board member, if you're an owner, what do you guys do um, that helps you guys? Um, and maybe we'll find some new tips and tricks that will help you. And maybe you guys can think of some and share some in the chat box. Um, so we can, so we can share those with others and we'll kind of go through that um, at the end um, after the video and we'll talk about it a little bit more um, if you guys have uh, some thoughts or some ideas. So welcome. We're glad you're here on this bitterly cold morning when it's so cold outside. Um, hopefully you guys are um, safe and warm inside. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, talk to Keely. Um, she's a center director um, in Carroll, Iowa. So um, Bobby, if you want to take it away and play the video, we'll come back and we'll talk about routines when we get back. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. Today we have um, Keely, and Keely's the on-site director at the Carroll Area Child Care Center and Preschool. And Keely has been there for just about 10 years. And Keely, I'm so glad that you're joining us today. Um, Me we're, too. We're thankful for that. And we're glad that you're here to kind of talk a little bit about what you guys do um, in your guys' program to help get your guys' day off to a great start. How do you, you know, help kids and staff and parents and just kind of want to, you know, kind of brainstorm some of those ideas. So if there are folks out there that are looking for some ideas or some thoughts that maybe they can implement into their program, maybe you can kind of just be a help um, of that today. So thanks for joining us. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So are there things, you know, what kind of are those top things that you do as the on-site director there in Carroll to kind of just help set yourself up for success every day. Okay, great. So um, a large part of my job is the scheduling. So I feel like just like kids, adults respond really well and work well with schedules. So um, every single day, day in and day out, you know, it's very like it's a habitual routine for the staff, for the parents, for the kids. And overall, that really helps for a smooth transition. So I think it starts with the scheduling, you know, having the same people here every day, same time. Uh, we have the different drop-off areas now. So that same teacher is there greeting the child, greeting the parent, and it really makes for a smooth transition. Um, I mean, to make these changes, you'd think it would be uh, difficult, but I'm gonna be honest, we've had a lot of positive things come from it. Um, I do think it's like less illness, less exposure in the building, just that less foot traffic. Um, of course, it has its downfalls that the parents can't come in and see, but um, routine, like I said, so like when we're uh, getting the kids in the morning and when we're sending them home in the afternoon, the teachers are so good about sharing about the child's day, just as they would if they could come inside. But just that little FaceTime in the morning, they're able to say good and good things about the day. And maybe if there was a little hiccup in the day, we're always honest and um, share that information at that time too. Yeah. Well, and with COVID, it has been such a different different kind of, you know, environment and things. And so I, I would assume having that same staff there, if you can, every morning for the kids, it's just been a relief, basically, you know? Yes. They're seeing the same person and yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. And surprisingly, um, you know, just in preparing for our conversation today, I was thinking like, was there a lot of extra front work um, that went into this? And not really. Like, um, I, like I said, I send out a weekly schedule, but my girls that are the typical, um, I would call them like, you know, when a parent drops off in the morning, they're always the one that that child might go to. Um, a lot of them are the lead teachers, but just being available. And these girls, I didn't even have to ask. They just step right up and they're there every day. Um, so smooth. That's awesome. And during this time, you can't ask for a better better transition and things like that. And just, I think you're right. I think those small things, setting setting your day up um, on the right foot. So, you know, kids aren't coming in uh, maybe as upset um, because they're seeing that familiar face. So that that helps the transition throughout the day, I would assume yes. too. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Very smooth. We always encourage like short and sweet drop-offs that are very routine anyways. Like, yeah. love you. See you later. Um, I'll pick you up after work and it's working because it is such a short time. Like parts of it are unfortunate, but like I said, like it's working for these kids. That's great. That's awesome. That's really good to hear and really a good, easy strategy to kind of implement if you're having maybe st struggles with that. If, you know, your 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 staff isn't hasn't been the same, maybe. Um, yeah, kind and of it's things. amazing that we're talking about routines and that's just truly what we do. Yeah. And, it works. yeah. and I think I think us in the early childhood world all know how important that is for for children in the routines. But like the, what you spoke about for staff, I think that's really important, too. And not to forget the staff, you know, during this time. Yes. So much has changed for them, too. You know, not just the children. I mean, this work is different. Um, yeah. Wearing a mask every day, you know, uh, not getting to see the parents, you know, it can be. So are there other COVID specific things that you guys have done to help you out throughout the day to make it better or easier? Yeah, so um, we, you know, typically when parents come in, they would clock their child in and out. Well, mm -hmm. again, so like at drop off, our teachers are doing that uh, just kind of the old fashioned way with pen and paper. And then when our front desk gets in, Kelly, uh, she's been incredible at sitting up there and clocking everyone in. And then she stays until the last child leaves to clock them out to just keep that good record. Um, but other than that, you know, we're doing the temp taking. Um, we've been so lucky. We've had many parents or community members even donate those uh, thermometers. So we're doing that as well as multiple times throughout the day. Um, proper hand washing right when all those kids get here. But I think it's just like record keeping. And the most important part, though, is something um, it's just making the most of that face to face time with the parent. Um, yeah. And our parents are required to wear masks as well at drop off just to eliminate any exposure. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, great. I, I think hand washing mask wearing uh, you know, record keeping of the temps and the times in and out have been the most part. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. If, if some, what, what would you suggest maybe if somebody is struggling with some of those new changes? Do you have any advice as a current um, director um, to help? You know, do you have a go to person or what, what do you think is um, is helpful or has been helpful to you guys during this time? Well, I do think the extra help. So uh, with the schedule, we've been lucky enough to bring in employees earlier. So like I said, I have employees, teachers, a friendly face at every entry, entrance. Um, so that means that there's a teacher that has to come in that much earlier in the classroom. And like I said, from the get-go, these girls have just like, I don't even have to ask. They just come and they're there. So then that way, when the child gets into the classroom, they're there to help with the hand washing. They're there to help serve the breakfast or get them um, acclimated to an activity right away before they even know it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So I do yeah. that extra help. Um, and again, we've been so lucky with our staff during this time. Um, with childcare, there's always turnover, but a I, I do feel lucky that um, my girls have really stuck through it. And the ones that had to go are the ones that had to go to school. That's like great. College. Yeah. Yeah. And, and cheer for your staff. Always, you know, you always want to cheer totally, for them. Always. Like they have been like through so many changes, but it's almost like it took, I feel like it was like overnight. You know, we had to, I'll never forget in March when the virus started, uh, Nikki and I came in, I think it was a Saturday or Sunday and made these plans, sent them out via email, and everyone showed up on a Monday and did it. Like, right. it's incredible. 
Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's awesome. And yeah, kudos, kudos to all the staff out there, not just at your center. But yes, for any child care and, provider right now, like five stars. They're going yeah. through so much and still like shining through it. It's awesome. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's awesome. Now I know that you're a mom and yeah. um, fun little guys. So what is there anything that you do as a mom um, to help you know? to help prepare them for their day or like just a little bit of the, what do you do as a mom, a working mom to kind of help? Yeah, good. I love this question. Um, so I feel like if your family or like your kids are going to be happy in the morning, you really have to be on like as a mom. So um, I'm not sure how long, but maybe like one or two years, but I do. I set my alarm early. I get up. That way I'm available for my staff as well because I do the schedule. So in case they need something, they call me. But um, I, I get up early so I have time to myself. So whether that's just like drinking coffee or getting a little like cardio in, yeah. I, I try to do that and it's just 30 minutes. And then that way I can get ready for the day. So that way my kids wake, I can help them get ready. And um, I think all moms can relate like um, depending on how you're feeling in the morning, it's really going to reflect on how your kids' day starts. So just um, being up and at them and being there for for them right when they wake up to get ready to go um, yeah. is helpful. So that's one thing. Like I notice if I don't do that, then I'm I can be growlier at them and that does not help anything. Yeah, that's great. That's I, I just was watching I think something on Facebook and it was um, somebody, you know, a New Year's resolution kind of thing. And um, all he said was um, even all you can do is just wake up when that alarm goes off. And I'm like, what great advice. You know, um, I used to be really so good feel like as I've gotten older, it's like, eh, I'll hit the snooze. It's okay. Um, especially during COVID, I hit the snooze. Um, and yeah, looking at this new year, really just get up when that alarm goes off is really simple advice, I feel like. Um, you know, and if you're setting it just a little bit before for yourself, I think that's really important. And that coffee, I mean, like, yeah, cheers. <laughs> like it's 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 definitely the way to go or whatever your coffee of choice is. If it's tea, if it's water, if it's a workout drink, whatever kind of thing. Yes, yes. So important to invest in you, um, especially as a mom and a working mom. And, um, you know, this has been a stressful job. Um, it is a stressful job. And then add COVID to it. You know, it's things have changed. Um, so that's awesome to hear that um, about you and your mom or you. Yeah and all of that so yeah it's that's really so good. far yeah um let's see is there anything else do you think that um you guys we were talking a lot about mornings and setting yourself up and setting the program up do you think that there are things that you guys do at your program in the evening or at the end of the day to kind of prepare for the next day you know is that something that's important do you think yeah absolutely um I feel like a large part of all of my closing staff's responsibility is prepping for the next day. So I often, um, you know, you feel a little bit bad, like, hey, I'm bringing you in and you get four hours with the kids, but um, an hour at the end of your day is going to be prepping for the next day. And mm -hmm. so you feel a little bit guilty that they're doing that, you know, for the next staff. But um, again, like these girls, a lot of my girls work 6.30 to 2.30 and then I have the 2.30 to 6.00. So um, they only get a little bit of time, um, like in passing, to visit about the expectations of what they need that afternoon before the yeah. next day. So we're pretty good about checklists, cleaning charts. Like typically it's a weekly chart and um, my lead teachers, they'll like highlight what needs to be done and the girls go right in and initial it. So um, they really do. They set up and sanitize for the next day so that when, like I said, when those first children come through the door at 6 a.m., um, my girls are just ready to prioritize the kid and the what they need instead of what do I need to do to prep for my day. So um, I would say that. So, you know, of course it's cleaning, but even setting things up in the infant room, um, it takes a lot of organization uh, for when, say, four infants come through the door, you know, between 6 and 7.30 in the morning. That way the girls can just hop right on their schedules instead of having to prepare to do so. So I would say yeah. that, um, yeah, afternoon cleaning checklist, and it's always done. If it's not, you can see it right on that chart. So we just follow up and it's, you know, something that needs to be done, but we always get it done. 
That's awesome. Yeah. And I think, I think exactly what you're speaking is so fun to listen um, to you for the fact that the correlation between um, what you're doing at home and what you're doing at the center and how it all kind of, you know, connects together. So, you know, you're, you're setting yourself up, you're doing the things um, to make sure that it's the transition is easier. You know, I know some parents, you know, like lay out their clothes of their kids the night before. So, you know, that's oh, one. Yeah. So, you know, like you talking about, you know, the staff, like getting the stuff out at the night, you know, um, getting the clean laundry put away, you know, it's just like that just sets it up. And, you know, we all feel so much better. I mean, totally guilty of not always doing that at home, you know, folding the laundry and, you know, but when you do, it just feels so much better, you know, follow that routine and um, it really sets you up um, well. So I love the correlation there. So that's, that's great. Yes. Um, what else, Keely, do you think that there's anything else um, as a, as a um, center director during this time, that you would like to share with other center directors or child care home providers who are doing child care and who are the true rock stars, let me tell you, of this pandemic and of the world and make all things go around. Do you have anything that you'd like to say or, um, you know, comment on or talk about before we leave today? Yeah. Um, so, Rebecca, when you invited me to uh, have this conversation and share it virtually, I thought it was a great idea because positivity is key. So speaking about the things that can help everyone to, to continue to make this such a positive experience, like it, it is a hard job right now. So I love that you kind of recruited me to share my tips and techniques and as easy it, as it is to say, oh, uh, be optimistic, uh, you know, do your best. It's nice to have some feedback to provide with it to be like, well, no, stick to the risk routine, stick to the schedule, schedule the extra help. Um, and with that, I just want to say, like, I'm grateful because we have such a good team here. So uh, two members of administration, um, someone that's always just like heading it off with the attendance records and billing, and then our cook, and then all of our amazing staff that are right in there every day with the kids. It just has a good workflow. And I know everyone is not as lucky right now to have all of that help. Um, so what I'm, what I want to encourage is just make the most of what you do have. So say you have a team of five or seven or 17, make the most of them, delegate. Um, just don't do it all yourself. You will buckle. And so um, what would be best and healthiest is to delegate the work, keep it positive, keep it light, make the most of the fun moments. That's why we're so lucky we're surrounded by the kids. Um, it's hard to even you know, say like a lot of people were so ready for 2021 and we are, but it's hard to, you know, you can't just write off 2020. We made a ton of great lasting memories. Um, and it's cool within like child care centers walls. These kids don't know what's going on. I mean, some are older and they do, but the kids, I mean, they're still living the best life, like um, having a great time while mom and dad are at work and while they're, um, you know, working physically, mentally through this all too. So yeah. positivity, routine, like we're talking about, it's key. That's awesome. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and I hope all you child care uh, providers that are on this call, if you're a staff, if you're a director, if you're a home provider, if you're a preschool teacher, just anybody in the early childhood world, thank you so much for what you guys do. Um, try to remember to take a little bit of this and try and, you know, set your, your day up for success. And hopefully, you know, it will be a good one and we'll all get through this together. So thanks for being rock stars and we'll talk soon. Bye. Yes, thank you. Bye. Thank you so much, Keely, for, for that information. I think it was so, um, so good to hear um, how you're able to kind of keep your routine, uh, even though it looks different than it might have, you know, a year and a half ago, um, but it's, it's, still, it's still the same um, kind of routine. And I think a great perspective to look at, um, I think you're exactly right. Um, you know, the kids, uh, even though it's been tough for the parents and uh, the directors and home providers and staff, um, you know, the kids are still living their best life. They still get to come to your program every day and, you know, have the best time. So um, setting yourself up for that 
um, and making sure that trickles down to the kids, I think is so important. So that's great. Danielle, what did you think? Did you, what do you do for your routine or could you relate to anything that, uh, that Keely was saying there? I think all of us can relate to what Keely was saying. It got so crazy last year and what we thought was our normal routine maybe wasn't necessarily our morning routine. You know, we try so hard to um, live in a world where we wake up and maybe coffee is the only thing we can grab and then we're running out the door. But really making that time for ourselves is key. And I feel like I don't get enough of that sometimes. And just from hearing her talk, I'm like, maybe I need to relook at my routine because it is sometimes where I wake up and I have time for myself to stretch and um, drink some coffee. But sometimes I wake up and I'm making coffee and running out the door or um, running right to work. So just the fact that she said, you know, really taking time for yourself and really, you know, you can't do it all yourself. You can ask for help. It's okay to ask for help because we've seen this year, a lot of us do need that help. So um, I appreciate Kaylee coming on and talking about how things were different and how um, she can establish getting back on and making things right again. So that's great. We're, we're seeing lots of comments coming in about um, routines and cleaning schedules and like, you know, the checklist kind of thing. I think a checklist speak to a lot of us um, being able to kind of have that, you know, that check off kind of basis. Um, sometimes uh, I even make a checklist of things I've already done so I can check it off to make me feel like I've done something. Um, anybody else out there? <laughs> Yep, de definitely the sticky notes. I think um, I learned from actually our coworker who was running the call, Bobby Riedemann, um, making sticky notes and just throwing them away. Or um, one thing that I do every day too is I have my lovely planner here. And I feel like that is something I look at even at night and every morning um, just to kind of set my day up for success. Because, you know, in our world, you know, even the provider world, my dog's sitting right here, everybody, so sorry. Um, but in our provider world, you know, your schedule changes every day. You think you're going to, you know, have a nice morning, get the breakfast out at this time, and then you have a kid that comes in sick, or you have a staff that unfortunately is sick, or, um, you know, you run into all these barriers, and being able to flex your schedule and flex your routine, um, but still make time for yourself and still plan out your day to be successful is, is vital. And so that's why I do love planners. I love checklists um cleaning checklists especially i feel like i have my monthly checklist to clean my house in ways i don't regularly clean on a daily basis so definitely i think i think that's i think that's good and i think a lot of things are coming in sticky notes are live definitely using your your app on your phone um for notes i mean i think that's that's a great um that's a great spot to do that you know kind of um technology use your technology um, kind of things, you know, I know Alexa can keep an app or keep a list for you too, you know, depending on what kind of service you're using, um, you know, all of those kinds of things I think are so great. Um, I, it's just so important um, to, to think about how uh, setting yourself up for routine um, is, is successful for you and for your business. Um, as we were planning this week, um, some of our coworkers across the state were like, oh, 6 a.m., why would anybody want to do that? But I know you guys, I know you, I know I've, I've been a, I've been a center staff. I've been a center director. I've worked with so many of you home providers. I know that routine is so important. And so it was really important to me to kind of share this, this story and this aspect for you guys, um, because I know that it's such an important thing. Um, I know that setting yourself up um, for success will set your business up for success, which will then set your kids up for success. And that's why we're all here. We're here for the kids. Um, we're here for quality childcare. Um, we're here to set them up. So we are so grateful for you guys. We are so grateful that you guys have um, stuck with with this, um, not just during COVID, but this whole time. And um, you know, we just want you to reach out to us if you guys have questions. Um, reach out to your local childcare consultant. Um, you know. We can try and help establish a new routine. I know somebody asked um, about sharing the cleaning schedules. I think that's something that I'm sure Keely would be more than willing um, to, to share out. So uh, we can email that out and um, put, that, um, put that out too. So um, thank you guys so much. We do have some awesome um, giveaways that uh, we have. Danielle has. I do have them here and these are just great. Um, I guess we could say a little bit about them. So 
the reason why we got these is we talk about habits later today as well as routines. So um, I put this in the chat box earlier, but I do want to touch base on it. So whenever I say, do you have stress or do you have, get poor sleep at night? You know, do you wake up and you remember things that you didn't do throughout the day? Maybe because you didn't put it on your checklist or maybe you didn't get to that in your checklist. Um, do you have poor, poor phys physical condition? Do you not drink enough water throughout the day? That's little things that you can put into your routine or put it into your planner to make sure that you remember to do it. So we were really excited when we got um, notebooks for journaling because later today we have this wonderful man journaling by Dwight who's going to be talking what he does every day in his routine. And it's become so much part of his routine that it's just been a habit. You know, he doesn't even have to think about it. He just wakes up and writes. So we got this notebook that you guys, it's wonderful. It's really pretty. You can't see it because of my light. Um, that can kind of help you write down a checklist every day or um, it's small enough to fit into your bag that if you want to use this as a planner, you can. Just kind of whatever to help you on a daily basis. The next thing we got is this really pretty marble water bottle. I'm all about marble. Um, so this maybe can help you guys, you know, drink more water or drink more coffee, you know, wake up throughout the day. So um, we are really excited about these gifts and hope that they help you guys um, set yourself up for success. So that's awesome. Thanks for sharing those, Danielle. Um, we did pick um, 10 random winners. Um, Bobby on the back end of this um, kind of helped from all of you guys that are here live. So I will announce those names too. And um, once all of that is done, um, we will have your contact information and stuff and those will get sent um, out to you. Um, expect them in the next couple weeks uh, with the mail. Who knows uh, when those will actually um, get delivered to your door, but they'll be on your way. So you guys are awesome. You guys, I think somebody just commented, I saw a comment come in that says, um, been in this for 30 years, shout out. I mean, like, come on, um, rock stars, you guys are awesome. So thank you guys so much. Uh, we're so glad that you guys joined us this morning. Um, and if you guys can't, if you guys can't attend any of the other sessions, that's okay. Um, we are recording um, all of these and they will be up on our YouTube page. So if you guys haven't checked out our YouTube channel, um, on YouTube, um, go ahead and check that out uh, because they'll be there. They'll be there. And so if you can't um, catch yoga with the kids tomorrow, that's fine because you guys can watch that on the recording too. That's not a problem. And Rebecca, before you do draw the door prizes, I just have one last thing to say. Um, you guys are all supporting each other in the chat box. And, you know, sometimes you need that peer support and to reach out to somebody to see what they do for a routine. Or sometimes you feel like you're having a crazy day and you could use another provider to talk to to see how you can get through. We do have community of practice groups, our peer to peer groups that um, you can come on, you can talk to, you get fun door prizes in our region. Um, in other regions, they do have that, but you have to kind of see on the day. But is something that I think is wonderful that you can ask and share your ideas as well as why don't you get on our Facebook page and share your cleaning schedules and share what you have um, for ideas for your routines because you know that peer support is important during this time so you are not alone you know your family support you your community support you and especially your peers because they know what you're going through so that is my last key that's awesome thanks Danielle that's a good reminder um, we got 38 years coming in from Sherry and 30, 35 years from Marty. That's awesome, you guys. That's fantastic. Like, way to go. That's awesome. So I'm going to, I am going to call the winners. Um, Darla's at 21 years. Like, you guys are awesome. Like, thank you guys so much for all that you do. 28 years from Stephanie. Rock stars. Seriously. Like, we've always known that. Like, right? Like, we have always known that we're essential, that you guys are essential, that you guys, that we need you. Um, uh, but it's just great. This is great, you guys. Um, everybody, 29 years, 33 years, 28 years. Fantastic, you guys. This is great. This is so great. It's so good to see Julie, 25 years, 21 years. Like if we added this up, like, you know, everybody's years of experience, um, have seven years as an in-home and two years as a center director. That's awesome. I know somebody just said that she's six months in and like, let's give um, a round of applause for six months in. Like, we know this is hard, but like, you can do this. Look at, look at all your fellow coworkers here that, you know, have put in this. So it's very exciting. So our winners of our awesome giveaway of our journal and our water bottles, we have Angela Dobbs, um, Holly Brockett, Kimberly Barthman, 
Bobby Blocker, um, Jennifer um, Conover, Cindy Bradley, Melissa Casel, Stephanie Carter, Louise Larson, and Laura DeMossi. And I apologize if I murdered anybody's names. So be on the lookout for those. Um, and we are so glad that you guys are here. Does anybody have any last minute questions or anything else they wanna make sure we answer before, before we go? Yes, congratulations, ladies. That's awesome. Um, we're so excited. We're so glad that you joined us. So like I said, um, check out our events page for the rest of this week. Um, February 16th through the 22nd on um, 2021. Or if you're catching this in the replay, check out the Iowa Child Care Resource Referral um, website or our YouTube channel for more information. So thank you guys so much for joining us and we'll see y'all soon. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope this helped in your routine this morning and didn't throw it off too much. Bye. <laughs>